Now that I've thought about it, even though I don't agree with your timing, I'm willing to accept that it's your decision. And I will support you both in any way that I can. Seriously? Yeah, but just promise me you'll try not to muck it up this time, okay? <laughs> yes, we promise. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to us. It's not me you should be thanking. It's Rachel. Rachel? How come? Well, after you left, I asked her to marry me. And naturally, she said yes. <laughs> so, I can't be down on you guys when I'm deliriously happy Are myself. Are you joking? <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. So there I am, hacking away at this wretched golf ball, and suddenly I turn around, and there's half my squad laughing their heads off at me. Passing bowl car had spotted me, so they decided to surprise me. One of the highlights of my retirement so far, I can assure you. Bit like now, really. Oh, this is ridiculous. I mean, they are behaving like a couple of schoolgirls. Yeah, maybe I should call for the bill. No, don't you dare. I'm not going to let them ruin our evening. All right, please don't make a scene. It is humiliating enough for the town buffoon to be revealed as my illegitimate sibling. But to have you sit there putting on airs and poking your nose in where it's not wanted is beyond endurance. I was just trying to be a good sister. You are not my sister. You're just an absurd little mistake that my father sadly made. A mistake that's come back to haunt me after all these years. And if you don't want to be squatted like the irritating little insect that you are, you will butt out of my life once and for all. Have you got that, Colleen? Mrs. Smart. Oh dear. Well, I don't think she'll be bothering us from now on. I should say the chances are pretty good. Are you leaving already? I have to if I don't want Mum setting out a search party. I'll walk with you if you want. Yeah, okay. That'd be good. Cool. You coming with us? No, no, you guys go ahead. I'm just going to catch up with Bella. She's on my new clothes. Okay. <laughs> Fine. See ya. <laughs> Colleen? Hey, what's happened? It was awful. And in front of everybody, too. I was only trying to help. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't a disaster waiting to happen, but more I really didn't need to be so hard on. That's why I like staying in the kitchen. No dramas, no tears before bedtime. OK, I'm going to go on a break. You guys going to be OK? Oh, I'll try not to wreck the place. What do you think? You look amazing. Where do you get the clothes? Nicole. Nicole? Since when did the princess start associating with us plebs? Nick's really nice once you get to know her. Okay. Nick? That's cute, I might use that one. I didn't think she even knew I existed, but now it's like she suddenly wants to be my friend. And Jeff too. Jeff didn't really like her to start with, but I can see you starting to come around. Mm, she is good. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. So tonight was fun? Yeah, it was. And about tomorrow. Oh, you, you still want to come, don't you? Yeah, uh, absolutely, but... Oh, good. I should warn you, not only have I never been to a game, I don't think I'd recognise a football if it hit me in the head. <laughs> OK, well, that can be arranged. No, wait, uh, not, the, not the football hitting you in the head, just uh, showing you all about football. Yeah, yeah if I can. <laughs> OK. But this is it. Oh. Well, maybe one day you can let me walk you all the way home. Yeah, maybe, if my mum ever chills. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I guess we'll have to work on that. Yeah, I guess so. So, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay. Here we were thinking there's no way Tony's going to come around. And next thing he's cracking down on a bottle of shampoos. <laughs> well, it looks like you did the right thing by going away for a while. At least it let people get used to the idea that you're a couple again. 
Not everybody. Ah, oh, don't worry about Morag, love. She's got more pride than she knows what to do with. I just thought she would have given us the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, she'll come around in time. You just need to be a bit patient, that's all. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I don't know about you, love, but I've had a big day. How many are you going to? Mate, it's OK by me if you want to stay the night. Uh, you're both adults last time I looked. Thanks, but I'm going to finish that bottle of champagne with Dad. It's not every day your old man gets engaged. Mm. Get some sleep, OK? Yeah. See you later. See you later. Grandad, wait. I just want to thank you for being so supportive of me and Jack. It has been so stressful worrying about how everyone's going to react. And the fact that we got you behind us, it means a world to us. I don't know what I would have done without you. You know what, I don't care what any more Ag thinks. Jack and I are going to make this work. That's a promise. Good on you, love. It's about time something good happened to this family. And to you in particular. Night. Good night. She's so sweet. I'm just about to head over to launch phase two. I'm going to church. But can she steal her boyfriend for a bet? I thought that we could walk to church together. Yeah, sure. Or will he expose this vixen scam? I know Nicole is up to something with Jeff and Annie, and you're going to tell me what it is. Home and Away, weeknights at 7.